Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us see several things in this surgery. This first, dripping. The ocular surface, the skin has been thoroughly cleaned with betadine 5% and the skin has been nicely dried. Now this is a sterile autoclaved sheet with an opening just to in front of the eye. Now here goes uh, a plastic drip. It is Sergi Wear. No financial interest in the brand. And now I make a fold and in that fold all the eyelashes of the upper lid comes. Then make a gap and place the plastic drip. And now all the eyelashes are included in the fold and this has been done over a sterile cloth. So this is very, very safe. A lot of care has been taken to drape and this is a nice technique. And now the speculum, wire speculum has been applied and this is a running wash with povidone iodine 5%. Povidone iodine has been applied just after peribulbar block or in the preparation room without block also we apply. Keep it for 3 minutes and then wash it off with antibiotic eye drops. And now let us see this surgery. This is a grade 2 nuclear sclerosis cataract. The main incision has been made on the posterior aspect of the limbus. Some capillaries are included and some oozing of blood is there. Now, three clock hours away from the main wound, this is a sideboard. And our capsular excess is to be done. I use a uterata forceps. I learned this from Dr. Neto Rosatelli using the uterata only for doing capsular excess. Initially, I used to get a capsular tag with a 26 gauze cystitome. Then I used to use this uterata forceps. Nowadays, most of the cases it can be used directly except in children, except in very weak genual where the capsule cannot be pierced with this almost blunt tip of the uterator forceps. Hydrodissection has been done, the nucleus has been rotated, visco is injected to fill up the anterior chamber and now here goes the pre-chopper. Just in front of the rexis, in front of the main wound, and the sustainer from opposite side and the nucleus in no time is divided into three fragments. Two heminuclei and one heminucleus is divided into two pieces. And now I go with the FECO handpiece. Bevel down. The left hand instrument is a sustainer. This is a NATO type of instrument, NATO chop, chopper kind of instrument, but Dr. NATO uses longer tip, about 2.25 millimeter. This is only 1.5 millimeter. And this is the Emulsification of the pieces, see the seminucleus. It is with this NATO kind of chopper, how easy it is to go, go behind the heminucleus and easily divide it into two fragments. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is about 40 percent, flow rate is four, uh, 40 ml per minute, and vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury. And now I am removing the left side of the cortex by the handpiece itself. 
Yes, this mask has been removed. And now I am going to use Dr. Ashish Sharpgal's Hybrid IA. In Hybrid IA, the aspiration port is capped like this. Irrigation goes, ultrasound is inactive in the IA mode and this is the aspiration cannula. It has been attached to the aspiration tube. Now, irrigation goes through the main wound and aspiration through the side port. Here it goes. Irrigation goes through the main wound, aspiration through the side port and emulsified, uh, sorry, and aspirated. So, cortical cleanup is nicely done and now I take the irrigating probe, do uh, hydro polish and then hydro implantation of an intraocular lens. This is hydro polish and now this is hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens. But this is a hydrophilic lens. Gradually we should go to hydrophobic lenses, but some patients economic uh, condition is such that they cannot afford the uh, hydrophobic lenses. So, this patient will need ear glazer maybe after 6 months or on year ear glazer capsulotomy. The antechamber is nicely formed and then integrity of all the wounds are checked. Note that I did not hydrate the main wound. Without hydration, it is nicely sealed. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in learning several things. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion, empathy and great surgical competence.